Man, I've been going to the movies a lot lately. I guess you could say I'm addicted to the movie-going experience. I get to sit in the dark with my wife, eat candy, and be entertained. I guess that's a pretty good deal. <laughs> so, don't worry, darling. The latest in my chain of movie-going experiences. Don't worry, I won't spoil anything for you. Let's just talk about the trailer and my thoughts after having seen the film. That way, if you want to go, you can. According to the trailer, we have a small 1950s art deco style town in the middle of the desert surrounded by mountains. It's also frequented by small earthquakes, though nothing seems to be damaged in the process. Every household there is a perfect husband-wife couple with no children and a Sears catalog style way of living. They drink, they have a lot of sex, and party their nights away. I was honestly surprised by the amount of fairly explicit women getting eaten out by their husbands, but I can't say it turned me off. I do have a beak, you know, so tongue stuff is kind of my specialty since kissing is hard to do with no lips. It, anyway, during the day all the husbands go out to work for something called the Victory Project, which according to the signage is the synthesis of extraordinary materials or something like that. Very Manhattan Project sounding stuff. All of their spouses are stay-at-home wives that spend their days cooking and cleaning and living 1950s housewife lives, complete with a ton of drinking, smoking, and gossiping and all that. I don't know, there was just, there was a lot of drinking in this movie. Just a lot of drinking. It was kind of distracting. Um... When one of her neighbors takes a leap off of a rooftop, leading our character to start discovering a lot of inconsistencies in the town around her, things kind of start rolling. Eggs with nothing in them, walls that move and try to crush her, mirrors showing things that aren't there, etc., etc. It's a what do they call it, a mystery box movie. And again, spoiler free, I can't tell you exactly what's going on, only give my opinion of it. As per usual with mystery box movies, I got to theorizing based on what the trailer showed me. The trailer made it perfectly clear that this town of victory was too good to be true, but I wasn't sure what kind of too good to be true it was. Were we going for a Dark City situation, or a Matrix situation, or a, a Truman Show kind of situation, or what, you know? There's a lot of different flavors of, of fake town out there. I can go ahead and tell you, the trailer is basically lying to you. Scenes were hand-picked to make the movie seem like some sort of supernatural thriller, when in fact it is nothing of the sort. I hate this. It's false advertising. Why does the reflection in the mirror not match the woman in front of it? Why does the wall crush her against the glass? Why is her neighbor appearing in the mirror in her ballet class after she died? Well, as soon as the movie tells you why, the entire thing falls apart. This is not a supernatural movie, it's something else, and the fact that it's pretending to be to make you buy a ticket and see it is not only dishonest, but insulting. Don't Worry Darling, after pulling back the curtain, invalidates most of its own details, and while I can't share them with you, let me put it this way. If your beautiful wife came home with lemons, sugar, a glass pitcher, and a bag of ice, wouldn't you be surprised if she came out of the kitchen with a pork chop? That doesn't make any sense, because all the hints and things that you saw said that she was making lemonade. Now, Don't Worry Darling does what a lot of 1950s America period pieces do. It romanticizes the era and makes it look glamorous and sexy and such, but at the same time it is Olivia Wilde doing the writing, so we cannot have a film that doesn't make all the men into bad guys in the end. And that's no spoiler, Olivia Wilde is a pretty loud feminist, 
but she's sort of one of those feminists that think all men are the bad guys, and it kind of shows in the movie. In the film, the main character starts to question the rigid schedule that she's in, the, the upper-middle-class America that's privileged her with spacious homes, sleek cars, nice furniture, and all she has to do is keep the house and home, but, like many women of the era, starts to wonder, is this it? When it comes to how her life is going, this, combined with the death of her neighbor and her seemingly supernatural visions that follow, makes her stop and look around. In return, as you might expect, she's told over and over she should feel lucky and privileged for such a thing, only for her to start peeling back more and more layers of what is ultimately wrong with the town. And while the trailer shows a number of wild, unnatural things happening around her, almost all of it is entirely red herrings and has nothing to do with anything. Like, I am, I am biting my tongue here, trying not to spoil anything, I really am, but every single unnatural thing that happens in this film, it means nothing. There is no one pulling the strings, there is no mental breakdown or mental illness happening here, there are just things happening and when those things don't add up at the very end of the movie they just hand wave the real answer and it's not satisfying oh this is what's really going on Ugh. i mean it's it's not as offensive as barbarian was where the answer behind the curtain just wasn't impressive don't worry darling's reveal at the end of the film is just it just doesn't make sense based on the clues that it gives. It's, it's nonsense. It's random. Based on the clues given, the true nature of the town of victory could have been half a dozen different things, but the real answer is not one of them. So, blame bad hyper-feminist writing, blame the very misleading trailer, blame the lack of oral sex from the ladies. But save your money on this one. I didn't hate it, but if you make a mystery box movie with a misleading trailer and misleading events, you better have a damn good answer to what's really going on. Otherwise, people just walk away frustrated or angry. People don't like being lectured to. They go to movies to be entertained. And if a series of random, disturbing events followed by being a housewife bad is the best message that you can come up with, then don't quit your day job. 